so since my undergrad was in computer engineering and i in my like final year of undergrad i developed a keen interest in the field of machine learning artificial intelligence i i tend to drew towards that i started i i did a lot of research on like what should i do to go ahead in that field i did a lot of uh, certifications and i ended up getting a job as well so i thought the natural progression for me from there on would be to get a computer science degree to actually learn to code well you need to complete 30 credits and you are allowed to take a maximum of two electives from outside the department the department doesn't allow you more than two electives and even to choose those electives you have to take the permission from the graduate coordinator apart from the two electives there are different clusters there's a data management data clusters there is a, a theory cluster there's an intelligent systems cluster you will have to choose one cluster and you'll have to complete at least three courses from e- any one particular cluster to so that that will be considered as your minor it was easy to for me to get one, get it because uh the course i took was uh, for statistical machine learning and uh, i just had to mail the professor of that course and mail my graduate coordinator and, uh, when it comes to transferring even other departments they would uh, at least like you to complete like pass the bridge courses at least to get a transfer so there's a course called foundations of intelligent systems which is quite popular the the data cluster over here is also very good you have courses like big data analytics intro to big data database implementation so these two clusters are very popular among students foundations of Com- computation theory is completely theoretical as far as the java course and python course is concerned i would say that project is not i wouldn't say there's a lot of project involved but the assignments are really good but when you uh, take up the cluster courses you as far especially the data data cluster you will tend to do a lot of projects so the foundational courses they generally don't let you do a project but Uh, when you take the advanced courses they are probably filled with uh, projects people over here tend to prepare in the last moment for the exam and, it, and in some subjects it might be easy for you but most of the subjects it will get you in trouble so to maintain a good gpa i would suggest is you need to have a very good uh, foundation first you need to have good time management skills 